A tap, and we're back. Had a little brief break. We're going to get right back into our Qigong. We had just completed, so we're going to get you into a place where you can get right to it. So I want you to get to a place where your feet are parallel, shoulders width. So let's go. Feet parallel, shoulders width. And then we're going to come into the cop position. Hands facing the head, two breaths. Palms facing outward, two breaths. All right, you're gonna shift the weight to the left, pivot on the right heel, shift the weight back to the right, step forward with the left, bring the weight forward, bring all the weight back to the right leg, rotate the hips and the hands are here. Four breaths. Stepping back with the left, pivot, bring the hands down, and we go into the gathering. And down, interlace the fingers, palms outward. So we raise the hands toward the heavens eight times. Let the hands come down. Breathing in, take the right hand up. Breathing out, exchange hands. Out. In. Out. In. Out. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. 
Keep the left hand up as you breathe in. Breathing out, turn to the right. Breathing in, turn back to the left. Breathing out to the front and center. Breathing in, take the hands up. Breathing in a little more, in a little more. Breathing all the way in. Turn to the right, turn to the left. Back to front and center, exhale. Shake it out, opposite hand, opposite leg. Good, 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 opposites. All right, feet parallel, shoulders width. And then we're gonna go right into swinging arms. Let them swing. Let them stop on their own. Sing it down, we're gonna open the chest five times and stretch the back. Now last one. All right, shake it out, opposite hand, opposite leg. Feet parallel, shoulders width. Right hand on top of the left hand, shifting the weight to the right. So we wave hands like clouds. I bring the hands down and the sun rises over the mountain and sun sets.
Gonna ward off right and left four breaths. All right, two more, and then you go right into ward off. We're gonna come back. We're gonna go four breaths to grasp the bird's tail after this next sunrises. Here we go. Four breaths, sunrises. Grasp the bird's tail. <laughs> Sit back, shake it out.
Feet parallel, shoulders width. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna sink down. We're gonna go all the way through to white crane spread wings. So make sure y'all can get to a point where you can see the feet well against the floor. So that way as we go through the movements, we're gonna do it three times so you can get a good vibe. Then we'll get into alternate nostril breathing and wisdom from the sages of the ages. Excellent work, everyone. Here we go, sinking down, sun rises. Shake it out. All right, we we'll do it again. Feet parallel, shoulders width. Sinking down. Shake it out. All right, here we go, last time. Feet parallel, shoulders width, sinking down. All right, shake it out, opposite hand, opposite leg, opposite hand, opposite leg. All right, get yourself to a good spot where you can have a seat. I'm gonna sit here so you can see the legs and arms easily. All right, let's get back just a little further, here we go. Thumb and index finger touching on the right palm, left thumb blocking off the left nostril, middle index finger in the center of the forehead. Arm is relaxed, breathing in, out, in, out, 
Fire breath. Deep breath in. Release. Extend your hands, no breath. Breathing in. Out. In. Out. In. Out. Breathing in and out, 10 times fast, fire breath. Deep breath in, chin down. And release. Palms down. Breathing in and out, with the in. Out. In. And out. In and out. In and out. All right. So move up. We're going to get into our wisdom from the sages of the ages. And for today's session, again, we will be reading from the teachings of the Tahatel. All right. So again, clear the mind. And here we go. <laughs> All right. So we got a partial one, but we're going to read it and we'll go from there. Okay. If you want friendship to endure in the house that you enter, the house of a master, of a brother, a sister, or a friend, then in whatever place you enter, beware of approaching the women there. Unhappy is the place where this is done. Unwelcome is the one who intrudes on them. A thousand men are turned away from their good because of a short moment that is like a dream. And then that moment is followed by death that comes from having known that dream. Anyone who encourages you to take advantage of the situation gives you poor advice. When you go to do it, your heart says no. If you are one who fails through the lust of women, then no affair of yours can prosper. Thank you all so much for being here today, being with me, working through some of the minor technical challenges that we've had. This has been really awesome how we've been able to do this, going into this is session 10 now, since we've been moving through these particular processes in you know, the voluntary stay at home and attempt to flatten the curve for the COVID-19 response. I thank you for sticking with it. I'm grateful that you have stuck with us. Thank you. I mean that. Do I? Do I? So please, even though these may appear to be turbulent times, these, as our ancestors would say, we have been on this planet so long, there is nothing new under the sun. And so as we grow and as we learn how to access the tools of our ancestors, and being able to apply them in this present moment, we have the gift of being able to make right what has been placed askew. And we will also hold accountable those that need to be held accountable and through the practice of our processes, engage in ways that allow us all to move forward and thrive. Again, these practices are designed to aid you in your physical, mental, emotional, psycho-spiritual, psychosocial health. So please use these tools. We'll be going over the next session and we're gonna review again how to 
get into the white crane that we're going to build from there. Our goal is at the end of this year, this will be like an ideal year for someone to learn the short form. So we're going to gather it in that way and use it in that way for you so that we build session upon session so that you really see what it's like to get it in and to do that work. A SAR stance should be at 15 minutes minimum where we are right now. Thank you all so much. The goal is to get to 20 minutes at a time. Any challenges, questions, issues, remember nothing we do should generate pain. There may be some minor discomfort as we're still learning a new movement vocabulary for your body. Be patient with yourself. Work hard, train hard. I look forward to seeing you all again. Hatapu. And we bow out saying to all the masters that have gone before us, we bow. Teacher to student, student to teacher. Ashe. We honor, respect, and praise to the ancestors, to the eternal witnesses of the earth and sky. I bid you hatap peace, life, health, and strength. Ankh Uja Sinev. Hatapu.